Today we're going to talk about the power of using the constant of proportionality. Before we talk about the power of using the constant of proportionality, I want you to go down and hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to select the like button whenever you finish watching this video. The power of using the constant of proportionality. I can see a lot of you right now, you're probably diving to go to Google, trying to figure out what in God's world is he gonna talk about? What is the power of, of proportion, constant of proportionality? Let's think about that in a very brief state before I continue saying what I'm gonna say. You see, the power of the constant of proportionality is the ratio between two directly proportionate quantities. So it's the ratio between two directly proportionate quantities. So if you were to use a formula, you will say K is equal to Y divided by X. You see, two quantities which are so important that when you put the two together and you use them every single time, you will always get a constant proportionate result. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I imply and use the implement and use the constant of proportionality in my daily life, in my leadership, in everything that I do, because by using it, I safeguard me doing things the right way. And I safeguard the way I treat others and make sure that I'm treating others the right way. You see, the two factors that I use in terms of my constant of proportionality is number one, I love my creator with all of my heart, soul, and mind. You see, I develop an intimate relationship with my creator. And out of that intimate relationship with my creator, I love him with all of my mind, with all of my soul, with all of my heart. And as a result of that, I do not get flustered by a spirit of manipulation. I always function out of a spirit of love. I don't go around and force people to do what I want them to do. I don't go around and bully people into doing what I want them to do. I listen to others. I move with a heart of understanding. I move with a heart of love. I listen to other people's opinions and I implement other people's opinions. I'm not one of those people who come in and say, this is my way and this is how we're going to do it. That's not how I think because there is no I in team. The key fundamental thing as a leader is to lead people and to understand that there is no I in team. And if I love my creator with all of my heart, with all of my soul, and with all of my mind, every bit, every facet of my life experiences that peace. Every facet of my life experiences that joy. You see, there's joy unspeakable and full of glory. And that joy flows out into every aspect of my life. That joy goes into everything that I'm doing. That joy is echoed in every area of my life. And you see, as that joy is echoed in everything that I do, my love, my love for my creator, my heartbeat for my creator is, is felt in every word that I share. My heartbeat for my creator is felt for in everything that I do to others. My heartbeat for my creator is felt in everything I do because I end up doing things with a spirit of excellence. So it's, it's important that you surrender your heart, you surrender your soul, you surrender your mind to your creator. Yes, my mind too. You know, even as I teach one, as I teach others, I ask for suggestions, I ask for things, I pray about things, I look, I seek wisdom in how to interact with people. I seek wisdom in how to share what I need to share with others. And I go out there and I share it with the spirit of excellence. The other proportion that I use is I love others like I love myself. 
If I love others just as I love myself, that means I will honor others. That means I will respect others. That means I treat others exactly how I want them to treat me. If I don't want to force a decision and I want somebody to force something on me, I don't force something on others. If I don't want somebody to yell at me, I don't yell to others. If I don't uh, g uh, speak with curse words to others, I don't want them to, to speak with curse words to me either. So I treat others just like I treat my Myself. I learned to love myself. I learned to be comfortable in my own skin. I learned to treat myself with respect. And as I treat myself with respect, I treat others with respect. You see, and by treating others with respect, like how I want them to treat me, I end up honoring them. I end up loving on them. And if you move in honor, if you honor each person, if you love each person, if you move in that honor and that love and that grace, you will never have a problem. The problem with society today is that we don't learn how to love ourselves. We don't learn how to be comfortable in our own skin. So what we do, we go out there and we treat people not like how we want them to treat us. We go out there and treat people abrasively. We go out there and belittle people. We go out there and bully people. We go out there and make people do things that we want them to do even without asking them their comment or their suggestion. You see, we have to learn to love others like we love ourselves. We have to learn to go out there and display that grace, display that anointing, display that love. Let that river flow, let that river of peace, let that river of joy flow in our lives. I'm so excited about this. I was so excited in sharing the power of uh, proportionality. I just came straight from my workout and I just sit right down and I just turned on the camera. And as I turned on the camera, I just said, hey, I'm going to make it. So you see, <laughs> you can see the excitement in my voice and you can hear the excitement in what I'm doing. But it stems from a nice, good workout as well. <laughs> so you see, the, the, the concept that I want to share, really share today, is to understand the power of proportionality and go out there and learn you know, to number one, learn to love your creator with all of your heart, soul, and mind. And as you love your, your creator with all your heart, soul, and mind, you go out there and allow that love to flow out of you. Allow that river to flow out of you. Allow that grace to flow out of you. Allow that anointing to flow out of you. Allow that peace to flow out of you so other people can experience that peace. Other people can experience that love. Other people can experience that grace. And then number two is that you learn to love yourself, love others as you love yourself. If you learn to love others as you love yourself, then you wouldn't have a tendency of ill-treating others. You will have a tendency of being a viable member of society. You will be have a tendency of growing a group. You will have a tendency where people will want to join what you're doing. People will, you, you'll find the flames of creativity. You see, when those work, when those proportions are working, the flames of creativity will flow. The flames of innovations will flow. The flames of ideas will flow. But when you don't have those functioning, you smother everybody and nothing grows because everybody has to be going to your drumbeat. Nobody has any time to create. Nobody has any opinions to create. Nobody have any opinions or have any chance to bring a new idea to the table. Nobody have any chance to bring about growth. You to growth, you need need a team and you need every member of that team to grow. So therefore, you have to constantly apply the constant of proportionality. We live in such a world that it's so tough because what we do, we belittle others. We make people feel insignificant. We wear our titles on our, uh, our chest. <laughs> I am doctor so-and-so, I'm pastor so-and-so, I am manager so-and-so, I'm so-and-so. You know, we have all assistant manager and associate manager and associate professor. And we have all of these little cliches that we go with. And we lead by titles instead of leading as true leaders. If you're going to lead as true leader, as a true leader, you need to understand the constant of proportionality and learn to do two things. As I shall repeat, learn one, to love your creator with all of your heart, soul, and mind. And two, 
Learn to love others as you love yourself. So go out there today and apply the constant of proportionality. Go out there today and learn to use the constant of proportionality and love on others. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button below. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to select the bell because when you select the bell, it will give you that wonderful opportunity to be notified when I've added another video. God bless you.